Are you still trying to get these smooth black bars for your edits so they don't look choppy as fuck anymore? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you step by step how you can make them using After Effects. To start, I just quickly search out two clips from Luke Skywalker to show you guys. So once you've selected the clip that you want to put the black bars on, make sure to go ahead, click on it, and press Ctrl and Y. This is going to bring up this extra window, which is going to create a solid layer. Make sure that the solid is selected in black, press OK, and press OK again. Now we're going to add our effect to the black solid to make the black bars appear. To do that, make sure to go ahead onto the Effects and Presets panel panel and search for CC Jaws. Drag it onto your layer. Now also go ahead and cut the layer where your clip starts. So for me it's right here so I'm gonna go ahead select the layer and press ctrl shift and D. Now this we can delete and also at the end cut it again and delete it. But as you can see your screen is still black so we're gonna go ahead and set the completion from 0 to 80%. Now, as you might have noticed, instead of having black bars, you have these random spikes. And in order to turn them into black bars, we're going to have to play around with the settings a bit. So go ahead and set the height to 0%. And as you can see, you now have these black bars. And now to add the animation of them actually popping up, we're going to go ahead to the middle of our solid layer and set a keyframe for the 80% completion. Press U to bring up your keyframes. And now go to the beginning of your solid layer where you want your animation to start. And set a keyframe from 80 up to 100. Now also go to the end and set the keyframe from 80 up to 100. You now should have three different keyframes and the animation already is happening but to make it look way better we're gonna add some graphs and to do that go ahead and select all the keyframes at once right click go on to keyframe assistant and press easy ease now when you open the graph editor we can now adjust the graphs so make sure to go ahead and copy the graphs that i'm using Once your graph looks something like this, you can go ahead and close the graph editor again. And now take a look at your black bars. Now what I personally found out is that the black bars are going to look way better if you add some zooms to the original clip. So to now do that, we're going to select the clip that's underneath our layer. Press S on our keyboard to bring up the scaling property and set a keyframe at the beginning. Leave it at 100. Go to the middle of the clip where we also have our keyframe for the black bars and put the value from 100 up to 110. Now go to the end again and put it back to 100. Now easy ease these keyframes again so we can add a graph. So select all of them, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. Open the graph editor. And and now you roughly want to copy the graph that we used on our black bars. And once you're done, your graph should look something like this. Go ahead, close the graph editor, and now take a look at your final result. As you can see, it looks dope, and now the last and most important step is gonna be adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely. So if you wanna boost the potential and quality of your edits to the top, make sure to check out the first link in the description, because as of now, I'm still running a huge sale. You can get up to 70% off of my presets, which includes my coloring, my Twixer settings, and everything you could wish for. So it's a perfect opportunity for a beginner to learn how to use After Effects. Make Make sure to not miss your opportunity on becoming the best. Now once all these steps are done, you're good to go, you can now render your edit. And now once all these steps are done, this is what your final product should look like. So you can now go ahead and render your edit. And if this tutorial helped you, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Also, as I said, do not miss out on a huge opportunity in my shop. And you also want to check out my Discord server, it's a link in the description. You can join and just talk to me, ask me questions or get in touch. That's it, thank you for watching and see you next time.